Hi friends, I'm here with Taha from It's Rally Time. <laughs> so this is another video in my series about personal mythologies where I get to talk to my friends about what makes them who they are. So, Taha, what do you think is a characteristic that defines you? I think that I'm a type of person who everyone thinks is super organized and productive. But actually, I'm a massive mess. I think people think you're an order muffin, but you're a chaos muffin. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. This is this is my personal mythology. Why do you think people think that you have it together? I just commit to things. I'm like, no, I don't. <laughs> it's very easy for people to think that you know what you're doing if you just sound like you know what you're doing. Yes. I'm very good at sounding like I know what I'm doing. Okay. Yes. But you don't know what you're doing. Absolutely not. I'm terrified. Like, I have a lot of things that I do to like keep myself organized. Like, I've got a to-do list and my calendar's very up to date and like everything's like... I speak in like productivity language. If you've ever met like a tech bro... You are wearing a turtleneck and hip glasses. But actually like I am I do all of that stuff because like I, without any of it my life like very quickly spirals into a, a mess very fast. And so people think it's like, oh, he's just so disciplined. But actually, actually, it's like, I'm just barely keeping it together because of how much organizing I do. Do you think other people are not just barely keeping it together? I'll give you an example. Mm -hmm. So, two days ago, I bought some very expensive, I bought $60 gloves. Mm -hmm. Because they were, they were the ones that like, you could touch your phone with. Mm -hmm. They had a lifetime guarantee. Mm -hmm. I thought, I'm not dying anytime soon, so this will last me a long time. You know what I mean? I lost them yesterday. So... <laughs> I'm so sad. And the reason I lost them mm -hmm. was because I have a to-do list. Uh, I have a list of things that I check before I leave, like, a place. Mm -hmm. It's like, jacket, yes. I have my bag, yes. Mm -hmm. Chargers, yes. I bought new gloves. They weren't on the to-do list yet, so I just <laughs> left them. That's who I am. That's who I am as a person. Mm -hmm. So, I, I'm on this trip for what, like 10 days, 20 days? I'm going back home and there's going to be no one in the house. Mm -hmm. I forgot my keys. In the house. But I'll figure it out, you know? So you think that's why I don't worry for you? Why? Because you figure it out. And I think that's a big part of having it together is knowing how to figure it out. I think I seemed very together in high school by the measure of like, my grades were good, which is not a good measure of how together you have things at all. But I remember like, a, an experience that I had a couple of years ago where I was living in Nevada and like, was kind of on my own and was doing this very weird uh, thing with my life and I locked my keys in my car and I was like, kind of panicking. A couple weeks before that, my computer had broken like, because I dropped it, it fell off of my air mattress and, like, broke and I, like, had a meltdown because I didn't know what to do and I needed it for work the next day. Um, but when I got my keys locked in my car, I just, like, went inside and I called my boss and I was like, hey, locked my keys in my car, I'll be in late. And then I called, like, a tow service that can, like, break into your car for you and they came and got my keys out and I drove to work and it cost me money but I didn't cry and I like told my parents later that like that happened and the fact that I had not called them crying about it they're like we are not worried about you anymore that is a skill that it takes time to learn and the only way to learn it is by not having it together and making all the mistakes and having to figure out how to fix it I was going to a um, like the, this creative retreat um, that our friend Rowan put on. Um, I missed my train, so this means that I have to take the last train into um, the area in Wales that this thing was. Yeah. Next to a village called Abergavenny, mm -hmm. uh, which has like one road with like four houses on it. Like, there's nothing there. Mm -hmm. I arrive at like 1.30, so I'm like stuck in the middle of nowhere Wales did you text me this day? Is this the day where you're like, I don't have anywhere to sleep and I don't know what to do? Yes, I found it. <laughs> okay, so we were gonna we were gonna catch up and then you were like, oh no, I forgot about today because we were supposed to catch up and you forgot. And then I I went, I'm still awake. This was at let's have a look. This was at 3 a.m. Um, <laughs> and then you were like um, how are you up? It's bedtime for me. 
Uh, and I was like, long story. Anyway, I'm stranded in Wales on the street with nowhere to stay. And so I was like, I'll figure it out. I was knocking on all of the hotel and taverns doors being like, anywhere to stay. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, I just kind of figured it out. Like it was fine. Um, I didn't call anyone. Um, yeah. And I think that's like, I think that is me. I think that like, I am a mess, but I figure it out. Mm -hmm. And then like, that's why people think I'm put together. Here's what happens. Wow. There's nobody in the world who doesn't get their keys locked in their car or miss their train or break their computer or lock themselves out of their house or whatever it is at some point in their life. Yeah. Just those sorts of things happen and they suck and you learn to figure them out or you call somebody crying, which like, you know what? Also, knowing who you can rely on is a way of figuring it out. Yeah. And that's fine too. I think the fact that you're pretty self-sufficient, like because nobody gets the call from you like, I don't know what to do, you're just like, hey, this is happening, but I'm gonna be okay, signals to them that you're you're doing okay. Yeah. I think that's actually my personal mythology. Yeah. We went on a journey together. I'm glad that we did. Yeah. I think I think my new my new like identity is definitely that because I think I think I've always been like oh I'm a mess but I I try really hard to not be a mess and that's my personal mythology mm -hmm. but actually I think you're right I think it's more that like I'm a mess but I know I'll be fine. I feel like that's kind of the human condition. Yes, I am human. <laughs> In conclusion, youtubecom slash can stop me is human. Yeah. Um... I just have to get that in there because I never said it at the beginning. That's, I mean, branding is also an important skill. Um, Taha, thank you for joining me. Where can people find you? <laughs> okay. So weird. Oh my god. I hate this so much. Okay. Uh, they can find me at youtube.com slash can't stop me or twitter.com slash can't stop me. And then on YouTube, I don't upload. So you should subscribe to me anyway. If you like this video, share it with someone who you think might like it. And in comments, tell me if you think that you have it together. And I'll see you soon. Bye. Yeah! <laughs>it's it's a good suitcase like <laughs> like yellow is a solid color for a suitcase because mm -hmm. when it's going around the conveyor belt yeah you can, you see, can it. see it and it's like hey minion suitcase yeah but it has an eyeball right how many other suitcases have an eyeball you're making my point for me <laughs>